Call it the thinking man's blockbuster, call it the single most expensive piece of hard sci-fi filmmaking of all time. Just go see it. I'm Mike from the Substream, and we were lucky enough earlier this week to get a chance to go see Inception, Christopher Nolan's follow-up to the second Batman movie, the spectacularly successful second Batman movie. And Inception arrives loaded with this, an enormous freight of expectation. Thankfully, Nolan delivers on that expectation, more or less, creating a film that's gonna frustrate maybe some fans of his Batman films, but will probably just melt the brains of people that are looking for any kind of semblance of intelligence in their big budget explosion summer blockbuster movies or fans of his earlier kind of more quiet smaller films like Memento or Insomnia who are willing to battle the summer crowds and the crazy 360 degree spinning hallway kung fu fight scene to get some of Nolan's patented dark complex intelligent noirish kind of machismo. To provide anything even approaching like a capsule description of Inception's plot would both kind of be pointless and take way too long, especially for a video that's going on the internet. But suffice it to say that at the core, Inception is a heist film. DiCaprio plays Dom, a master thief who has to assemble his team to pull off one last massive job before he can retire. The job is a massive con spread over multiple layers of dream space. Unlike The Dark Knight, which is an absolutely perfect, a pitch perfect example of a really, really talented director working with a good cast, but working within the really kind of narrow confines of traditional mainstream Hollywood good guy, bad guy cinema, Inception feels kind of like a thank you from the money guys. Uh, here's $200 million, go make whatever you want, but then come back when you're done and make more Batman films. It feels like vintage Nolan. It feels like the guy that made indie movies for a while. It feels like a $200 million version of Memento or Insomnia. It feels like a giant, overwhelmingly slick, impossibly beautiful mixture of Philip K. Dick's later, slightly crazier stuff, David Mamet and Heat-era Michael Mann. Like the best hard sci-fi, the film inhabits its own completely unique, made up from whole cloth story world, and it possesses its own unique story logic. And like as with a lot of hard sci-fi, that's a really good thing with some slightly kind of annoying drawbacks. On one hand, it lets Nolan and his cast and the rest of the filmmakers make this space, the story space within which you get moments of sheer adrenaline and suspense and excitement and crazy kung fu weightless action, but it also lets them make moments of real kind of emotional performance, especially the scenes between Leonardo DiCaprio's character and his wife, who's played by Marion Cotillard. It also lets the cinematographer Wally Pfister and the stunt people and the rest of the filmmaking crew create moments of literal jaw-dropping, cinematically classic moments of beauty, like the hallway fight and like an early shot in which Leo's character falls backwards into a tub of water. It's a really, really pretty film, and those moments of prettiness get to come from seemingly natural moments of storytelling in the film. It's not show-off-y, it's not demonstrative, it just has moments of beauty inside a really cool action movie structure which is awesome. The drawback of this, the drawback of inventing your own whole world, whole cloth, and then telling a story in anything under 10 hours within that world is that the movie bogs down under the weight of explanation. And the film also suffers a little bit near the end because the script tries to raise the stakes for no real valid seeming reason. As it is with a lot of real sci-fi, it's a trade-off. You accept these moments of kind of eye-rollingness and weird explanation moments to get those moments of sheer originality of vision, which is something that Inception does almost from the start to the finish. It's got its moments where it kind of slows down, but that's a trade that I would accept pretty much any day of the week, which is why I give Inception 8.5 out of 10, and you should go see it.